Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We did it, y'all. We made it to the first day of school. It is the best day ever for me. I'm just kidding. I'm so excited for the kids, though, to start a new year and just to get back into a routine. Honestly, it's so exciting. So I just start out by getting all the girls' things together. Camila decided she did want to take her Stanley after all, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that up for her. Um, hopefully they let them take these and she does really well with it. I haven't heard about a spill accident. She was showing me here that she had brushed her teeth and I was like, are you sure? And she was like, smell my breath, mom. So got that all done and then it was time to work on Camila's hair. You guys look at that playroom floor. I am just going to live with the fact that my playroom floor is always going to look like that because Josie just loves to dump out all of the toys. Um, we found some cute matching flower clips to go into Camila's hair. I ended up having to wet her hair in the sink because we didn't have the spray bottle. I actually got the new spray bottles in that day from my Shein order. So I'm just going to go ahead and do pigtails in her hair. Um, this little hair station is God's gift, like so amazing, 10 out of 10. It makes everything in the morning go so much easier. We've loved it the past four days. So I definitely recommend creating some sort of hair organization area if you have girls. Um, it took me, you know, Kyla's about to be 13 or she just turned 13. So it took me 13 years to figure out a system, but I love this so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in those cutie little um, flower clips. I couldn't think of what they were, um, which I purchased off of Shein. That is definitely a place I recommend getting all of your hair accessories. I'm going to give her a little bit of spray and send her on her way. Cross your legs. Yeah, cross your legs. Where's the one? Okay, we'll go. That says last day, turn it the other way. Where are you? That's cool. Yeah, 18. Now, stand up, move over a little bit. Right there. Move over a little bit, right there. Okay, hold it down right here. Over. There. Up. Uh, okay. On chest? No, not on your chest. Here, hold it there. Perfect. Okay, lean it uh, towards you a little bit. Yeah, there. Because it's just so that words can move better. Where we should have. Okay. Yeah, they look good. Then you say cheese. Clara's turn. Oh my god. I'm not holding off by a pin. Yes, you are. Even Jamie yeah, had her first time. Here, stop yapping. Yeah, Erica Lopez. Oh, that's not even heavy. Mom, it's not even heavy. Okay, good. Move over. No. Yeah? Move over. Is this your outfit? Kyla! Our outfit. Right there. No, Erica. Okay. She didn't see you. Erica, look at you. <laughs> Cammy. You know, you should hear your grandma. We can't hear her because you're on the thing. It's in your ear. I know. Okay, move. Let me take this photo. Shoosh. Ready? Lean the flag up a little bit. Oh, up. Yeah, like that. What are you going to do? Um, her couple was like, today's a good day. Today you're going to see all the cute guys. And oh my god. I was like, oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Um, um, <laughs> We're at McDonald's! And our gas is super low! Dude, I'm on empty right now. Like, what, what is, is the that? reason? Look at Erica, guys, my best friend. Y'all wouldn't know. Y'all wouldn't know. Oh, that's cold. I'm walking to school, guys. It's gonna be 11.01. Okay. Oh, I have a penny. A penny, girl! Yeah, because then I'm going to get 90 something cents back. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get a uh, grape jelly, please? Thank you so much. Oh 
goodness, I feel like it's like five o'clock in the afternoon and it's 9.30 in the morning. I did so much. Also, roosters. Um, but anyways, I have to edit real quick and then I'll be back. I'm still whispering because Josie is asleep still. What a busy day it has been. I feel like I've had like the equivalent to three summer days today in just this one day. Thankfully, I got um, some editing done, which was much needed. I did a quick clean on the house, and you know what's amazing about that? It's actually gonna stay clean for a little bit, but not that long because it's already 1.45. Um, Josie has been doing great playing here in the girls' room and just watching her shows, and she already ate. So it seems like everybody's jumping back into a great routine and schedule with this new uh like first day back to school i did want to come into my planner i forgot that there was even stickers here at the front of my planner but i'm super excited because i'm gonna bust open these brand new flare pins i have been using a regular pin um since last year like just a regular pin and then all of a sudden i don't know what happened and i started using a flare pin and i was like i forgot how much I love flare pins. I am already missing some football things that are coming up. Okay, I have them written down here. This Wednesday, we already have a parent meeting for football. James was kind of like bummed because we're gonna miss church, but um, it is mandatory for the parents and players, so we will be doing that. I'm trying to smooth this out because if you saw the last vlog, um, or like two vlogs ago, Josie like crumpled up this whole paper. So now it's all gross. I ended up just getting a small pack from Target, but I'm gonna get the big pack from Sam's next time I go because it's just so much more affordable. I just needed to make sure that there was a purple in there. Of course, you know. Today for dinner, I'm gonna be making picadillo. I will show you guys how I make my picadillo. It's very simple, very easy. I'll probably do rice and beans with it. And that is gonna be our dinner for tonight. And then the only other thing we have, so on Wednesday we have the parent meeting and then already on Friday we have our first scrimmage against Holmes and that is gonna be at our um, Southwest Complex, at our fields, but our practice fields. So they're ending up making up, so they are making a brand new press box at our stadium, which is, I kind of was scared that this might happen, but I didn't really think too much about it. But what I kind of thought about is definitely happening because the press box is taking longer. There's only going to be like three home games this year for the senior for Reagan senior season, which is absolute trash. But we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to think about it too much because at least he's going to be playing football and it should be fine. Also, not to rub it in even more, but we bought season tickets for our stadium for all the home games so we paid for those already too i think that's what they're going to talk about at the parent meeting i don't know what's going to happen i mean we don't really care the money goes to the school it's not a big deal but still like now we have to go buy tickets at the other stadiums that we're going to go to so kind of a bummer and then on saturday we already have media day this year media day is a big deal because reagan is a senior so we pretty much have to try to take like his senior photos pretty much that day um because it's pretty i keep saying pretty much but it's the only time that he's going to be in uniform and available to us where he's not like sweaty and gross and all that so a part of me is wondering if i need to hire a photographer but you know what i am pretty good with the camera and honestly i could even use this camera um, to take actual photos, but honestly my iPhone takes great photos. I did the prom photos myself and they looked amazing So I'm not gonna count myself out on that. I do get a little bit anxious like wow It's a big deal. Am I not taking it serious enough? But I think I'm capable of taking really great quality photos. So I think it'll be okay I just have to mentally prepare for how I want him to be standing if I need props anything like that we need to have that all done by Saturday. We're also wanting to take a fall, um, like the mom, the football moms want to take a photo similar to these. Let me show you guys. One of the moms had the idea to do it, so I am going to help her 
um, like execute it because I think it's a cute idea. So we'll either do something like this where they're all, um, or like this in the stands or like this on the field. So we need to get that together this week. I also promised my cousin Karina and another football mom shirts like the ones I made Reagan, which by the way, I have not even pressed. I need to press those shirts this week. And then, um, I, so I need to work on those. Thankfully, they, we still have two weeks and they don't necessarily need to have them the first football game, but as long as they have them by like the second football game or like at least by homecoming, it should be great. I do have a Shein haul, my last one. I'm gonna film that, so I will be posting that sometime this week, but it has been great. Uh, I've gotten so much done in just a short amount of time, so. This girl, dude, she's smushing her chips into the drawer. It is 5.30, I'm about to make some picadillo. And so I'm gonna start out by uh, browning the ground beef. I normally use this seasoning called picadillo ole. It's from that brand of seasonings that I always use. Uh, but I'm out of it and I kinda swore I had bought it. So I'm super annoyed. Cause I was looking for it and looking for it. And I don't see it, but I saw on TikTok, like, I mean, it's just pretty much using the normal seasonings that we always use. I'm gonna go ahead and make the full three pounds. Is this the three pounds? So I'm gonna go ahead and make the full three pounds of meat, and I need to still wash and cut the potatoes. I'm a little like foggy brained right now because I'm so tired, you know, we're getting used to waking up at 6 a.m. again and all that. So, I was feeling a little tired. I also forgot that like the way my schedule is is that I have to pick up, I left to pick up Camila at 3.15 and because it's like a brand new school year, they don't have the correct tags for everybody. So she literally didn't get into my vehicle until 4.08. I was in line that long. See, and I kind of knew because I've been a mom for a really long time. So I wrote her name and her teacher's name and her grade level on my car, uh, like on a piece of paper in my car. So they didn't, I didn't even have to roll down my window to talk to them. They already, and most of them already knew who I was there to get or whatever. But for the new parents and the parents of little kids and stuff, it just took forever. Like for them to get their kid or whatever. So I left at 3.15, got her at 4.08, came back home. We live about seven minutes from the school. So came back home, chilled for a little bit, and then it was time to get Kyla at five o'clock. So now I'm back here at 5.30. So I pretty much every day of the school year waste from 2.30, no, 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 from 3.30 to 5.30, two hours of dead time. like doing nothing, sitting in the car, picking up kids, whatever. Every every year, it's always like that. Two hours of dead time. I need to figure out something like more productive. Well, no, I'm lying. Today I cleaned out the center console of my truck, which I hadn't done in months. And luckily for me, it was like a disaster, right? It was a total disaster zone, but all the little zipper pouches that used to have all the stuff in them were still in the car. So I was able to organize all my stuff into the zipper pouches. I can show it to you guys later and explain like so you can understand, but at least I did that. <laughs> but then I just um, watched TikTok or whatever. Sometimes that's when I used to edit my TikToks, so I really need to keep that in mind. If I wanna be posting some TikToks, that's a really good time to be editing them the two hours that I sit there in the car. I don't like to take my laptop and edit like that because my laptop has like a card reader and I feel like I'm gonna break it. It's very fragile. So anyways, while this ground beef browns, I was wondering why it wasn't cooking and I forgot I turned it down to low. I'm gonna get these potatoes peeled. I think this is enough, three. Three should be enough. And I pretty much have to like wing it with the seasonings. I got my potatoes washed, so I am just gonna go ahead and cube them up. Um, 
I forgot to tell you guys too, Josie has been so good with her schedule. She took a nap at the normal time. So she, which was, I typically put her for nap around three o'clock. And so she went down around the right time and she's still asleep. So she should be waking up soon. She typically takes a two hour nap. This might be too much, too many potatoes. We'll see. I always feel like I cut too many and then the ratio meat to potatoes is not good. So we'll see. Moving on to the picadillo recipe, um, I ended up doing this for the first time and it came out so good. I just added two tomatoes. Um, the recipe called for three, so in a little bit you're going to see me add a can of tomato sauce. That's the first time I've ever done that, but it came out great. I added two jalapenos, some cilantro, half of an, half of an onion, um, some chicken bouillon, and some tomato bouillon along with two cups of water. You're gonna blend that all up. Now, in the recipe on TikTok, they did, I think, like either boil the tomatoes or something like that. I don't really remember, but I just threw it all in there cold. And let me tell you, the flavor was amazing on this picadillo. Honestly, so much better than when I would use the picadillo ole normally. Um, the kids loved it. James loved it. It came out so good. I let that blend up really, really well. Like I left it at the blender for quite a while. I decided to add in the, to uh, I almost said tomatoes, potatoes. First, I was only going to add a few of them, but then I was like, what the heck am I going to do with the rest? I remembered I had quite a bit of ground beef, so it was really no problem. So I added all of them in. I also added some salt in because none of the recipe called for salt, but I kind of knew with potatoes it would need salt. I'm just going to go ahead and let that simmer for about, oh, I added in another cup of water just to make sure there was plenty of liquid, covered that, and just let it simmer. I'm going to start on the Mexican rice. This rice came out amazing. I think it was because of the pan, but also I really took the time to like brown the rice, fry it up really well, and I think that really helped with um, like the flavoring of it. James was like, this is the best rice you've ever made. And I agree too. So you're just going to start with one cup of white rice. I believe I use jasmine rice and you'll see here the color change. That's because I really let it toast up. And then my other secret is to fry up the actual tomato sauce. Like give it a minute to take like the can flavor out of it or whatever, like really cook it on there. And then you're going to add two cups of water. And I still use the Spanish rice seasoning from Bolner's, the Fiesta brand. I'm going to stir that up really well and just let that simmer typically for 20 minutes. But I think I let it go for 15 and then just let it sit on the stove. And I really think that's what helped like fluff it up. You guys, I'm finally going to let you know my secret. This is how I make my borracho beans. I'm going to be using two cans of pinto beans already cooked. I drain those out and then add in water. I'm going to add in beef bouillon, comino, some salt and pepper. And typically I would add bacon into this recipe, but you're going to see I was out of bacon. So I end up adding ham. I add a pieces of onion, a whole serrano and a bunch of cilantro. You're going to let that simmer too for quite a bit. All of this just sits there for a while and simmers until all the flavors incorporate and it becomes this amazing dinner. Um, but you can see that it doesn't take very long. I would highly recommend giving it a try. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the whole kitchen and then it'll be time to eat. By this time, Josie was up for her nap and ready to eat some delicious food. That is one thing Josie loves Mexican food. She will eat this entire plate up. It came out delicious. 10 out of 10 dinner. Highly recommend. Everybody enjoyed it so much. One thing I started this school year, well, this was the second day of it, is making the school lunches at night and then just storing them in the refrigerator. All last year, I would wake up and make school lunches in the morning. Sorry if you guys hear Coco in the background. That is what <laughs> Josie is watching right now. I tried to make a flower out of this Nutella sandwich, and it was a complete fail, but we're moving on. It's still going to get eaten, and it doesn't matter. Also, don't judge me for cutting these cucumbers straight on the countertop. I swear I wipe them down like 24 times a day. Um, I ended up going ahead. Oh, she ate tons of her food from the last time. So I was super happy about that. 
Um, but I ended up going ahead and packing the entire lunch into the lunch box. And then I put the whole bag in the fridge. I tried that out. The next day I didn't do that because I felt like it wasn't cold enough. I don't know. It could have just been me in my head. Definitely recommend making lunches the night before. Me and James both agree this is the best rice I've ever made. So make it how I made it. <laughs> Y'all, Camila still thinks it's summertime. She just got home. It's 8.52. Her bedtime is 9 p.m. I had to text them and say, can you please send my daughter home? They were in the swimming pool. It's the first day of school. Why are you in the swimming pool? Summer is over. So she's taking a quick shower, and then she was like, can you heat me up food? Girl, I'm about to go to bed. I picked up her, I mean, <clears throat> I picked out her clothes for tomorrow, so... Good thing I did that. And I packed her lunch for tomorrow. It's editing my vlog just a little bit. I'm gonna have to edit it tomorrow, which is so annoying that just, all that means is that I'm not caught up. So, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. It's a long vlog, that's why. It's the weekend vlog, but it's Saturday and Sunday. And I was just going crazy with filming all the things. And so now I have to edit it. <laughs> That's what I hate. Honestly, this is still warm. How was the first day of your last first day? Good. <laughs> last first day, guys, for Reagan. Next year, he gets to just be a regular bozo like the rest of us. Make you happy or sad? Happy. You want to be a bozo like us? have real problems <laughs> real life problems so as soon as Camila gets out of the shower she is gonna have this food and then that's it we're gonna head to bed so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and we'll see you in the next one